So, my name is Binium. Nice to meet you, man. I don't think I've ever met a Slade before. No? Yeah, no. Great How's your day going? It's going pretty good and steady and yeah, good. so it's been good that way. I uh, took the first half of the day off, so I wasn't sure if I'd have a busy day or not, but here I am. That's good. Yeah. Right. It's uh, Monday of the long weekend, so. Yes, so Labor I'm day. guessing you had the day off? Huh? You had the day off? I'm actually, I've had the past like four days off. I'm from out of town, so. Oh, like nice. That. Where are you from? Uh, Cold Lake, about six hours north of here. Yes, up north. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm from. I never actually made it up there. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful during the summer, but during the winter it's cold, not much to see. <laughs> you guys get a few planters there through the year, right? Or through the summer? Tree planters? planters? Tree planters. Oh, tree planters? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a few of our... Uh, Reclamation for the oil field. Okay. Yeah, my travels in the oil field never took me there either, so. No. So you live there still? Yeah. By choice or by necessity? Oh, that's where I've lived my most of my life. Okay, gotcha. So it's home. Uh, it's home. I mean, I, I don't always want to live there, but for now it seems like a good choice. I'm about to buy my first house there, actually. So. You are. So that's a significant sort of investment. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to have my father and my little brother move in with me so they can pay part of my mortgage. Sure enough. Yeah. Um, I'm used to like well I grew up in BC yeah. a lot of my peers would move away as quickly as they could and kind of establish homes elsewhere you know in bigger centers yeah, I know a lot of friends do that. and that didn't happen with you for what reason uh, well I was in a long-term relationship uh, that would do it okay um, I never went to college or anything yeah the oil field so sure uh, the oil field's big there yeah yeah um, I don't know I just never got around to it I guess that's fair you speak about the relationship in past tense. Well, yeah, like, yeah, it's long, long term past tense. It's probably been about four or five years now since. And it's still going? No, me and her broke up. You did break up. Four or five years ago. Oh, I it see. It lasted gotcha. for about five years and then I. Okay. Uh, just one second. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we broke up a long time ago. Talked to. I saw her recently though, she's still good. She just wrote with her boyfriend. It's probably easier after a while, right? Yeah, it gets a little bit easier. Yeah, because five years is no small change. No, right? I mean, she was my, I was engaged to her for like yeah. a year, and it just kind of fell through. But it wasn't that I ever hated her or she ever no. hated me, it just didn't work out. Just didn't work out, I, I guess I've been there too. Yeah, but uh, any old lady or whatever in your now? Yeah. Not now, no. No, now I'm still single, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. What would you say you, you do differently now? What would I do differently now? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You've maybe, been a few years since then, right? Maybe appreciate it a little more, I guess. Appreciate the, uh, the whoever she is. Gotcha. Like was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily go back and change it. No. We felt we were, we were young when we started and we grew up. Yeah. So, yeah. It is what it is. Sure enough. That's how things go. What's the population in Cold Lake like? 13, 14,000. So not too many people. Not very big. No. I so, go to the city a lot. Oh, you do? I go to Edmonton a lot. Edmonton, okay. How many hours is that? Five hours? About three hours. Three hours, okay. So That's it's not, not so bad. Not too bad. I can make it in a weekend and yeah. I can even do a day trip if I need. So that's how you can meet new people then. I yeah, I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot of friends here and yeah, in, Edmonton. in Edmonton. I got friends all over the country. Yeah, all, the, all over the province anyway. Nice. Yeah. So you have options that way. Yeah. No, well, I've got, I got a girl that I'm sort of considering, interested in. Yeah. Sort of back in Cold Lake. Yeah. But, in Cold Lake. Yeah. How did you find her? Uh, Tinder. <laughs> okay, so Cold Lake is still like big enough that you can meet some new people in. Yeah, a few. Like, okay. I, I mean, I've met her before. I yeah. just never really knew her. Yeah. She just got out of a long term relationship, so she's still taking things pretty slow. Sure. Okay. But yeah, no, she's a cute girl. Cool. Then I went on a quick date with a girl here, so. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. I just got, you know, I just got out of a, another relationship. She is crazy, so. Gotcha. She's hot, but she was also weird. She had some to attend to, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Man, it's a tough combination to find someone who is extremely attractive, who I'm you awesome. really are into, and then they're also saying fine, right? Yeah, for sure. That's it's almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll find something. I'm not really okay. Got a little bit of time yet. <laughs> so,
So as you consider settling down, like in Cold Lake, where you're buying a home. Uh, no, I don't consider settling down there. I just I want to buy a home, so I'm not renting anymore. Gotcha. And then I can have people I trust live there and pay my mortgage. Then eventually I'll buy another house. I see. And I can pay that down. I got my job steady enough. So, what do you do for work? I'm a pump technician, so I just work on the automobile pumps for the lift go. Oh, I see. So it's not the guy who deals with the mud. What? Is that the mud guy? On no, the no, no, no. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't go out to a site. Oh, you I just don't? work in a small shop. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. In, in Cold Lake? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So you're home every day? Every day. I get an hour off the lunch, then I get to go home too. Okay. I my dog, my cat. So. Do you work right through the year or do you have a... All year. All year, okay. All year. We work in a shop, so we don't have to worry about it. But I mean, like, do you ever take holiday time? Or? Oh, this is my vacation right this now. Is, okay. I was supposed to go to New Orleans, but COVID. I was also supposed to, go, supposed to go to Cancun, but COVID, it's, uh, it's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, are you just Uber then? Or? Just Uber. Just Uber. I did my master's in Uber. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and how long have you been in Calgary? I just moved back a year ago. Okay. I was in Saskatchewan the last seven years. Oh, wow. Whereabouts? In Prince Albert. Okay. And North. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Yeah. PA. Right on. You know, you didn't know it. Um, yeah, so I spent some time out there. Not just... Have, have you actually been to PA? Huh? PA is pretty beautiful, yeah, yeah, isn't it? I've yeah, I've been to PA a few times. I've yeah. My ex fiance, she got a grandparents used to live there. So okay, I'm crazy. Kind of yeah, so I was out there for the last few years and then uh, I decided I missed the mountains here. That's fair. I, I miss the mountains every time I'm out here. Oh, it's amazing it's so here. Beautiful. I agree. That's why I love here because it's so accessible to yeah, mountains. It's, you can easily get in. Oh, it's amazing. So my ex and I, uh, we, we have three kids together. Okay. We still get along really well. We That's co-parent good. really well. So we're really thankful for that. Um, so we decided to move back here together. So she lives over in Cochrane, okay. just outside the city. I live downtown here. Yeah. So that's good distance between the two of us. And That's good. You're still uh, amiable. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm so thankful for that. So I just dropped the kids off this morning, hence why oh, I okay. took a half so the morning off. Yeah, because I had the kid, a weekend with the kids this weekend, and, and then uh, yeah, and then uh, back to work. So uh, Ubering is my main gig now. I was teaching English before. Oh really? Yeah, and uh, really enjoyed that. But Uber, I I fell in love with because I got to meet so many people. Really? So many diverse yeah, I guess. people. Yeah, you gotta, you really do get to see all kinds of walks of life, right? And I'm really shy by nature. Oh okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I like, I don't know, maybe. Uh, <laughs> no, you seemed up front right off the bat. So. <laughs> no, um, people are my jam. I, I I think I'm more of a social scientist, and so. Okay. Um, this you job. To investigate interrelationships. Oh my goodness! It gives me so many um, opportunities. Well, I'm pretty nosy, I guess. But oh, okay. in in a genuine way, I like yeah. I like getting to know people. Yeah, so do I. I so don't like so. small talk. I just kind of get right into things. So. Yeah, what's going sure. on kind of thing like, yeah so that's kind of like my jam and so that's why I made this my full time gig here because it's uh, pretty stellar that yeah, way if you enjoy it why not totally yeah it's good it's good it's nice to have people like that and I get to drive around all day yeah. explore the city I, I really do like Calgary too so yeah it's a pretty it's got a lot of very pretty views within the city I think so I think so yeah. I met uh, this lady last night she is from Edmonton yeah She's enthusiastic about Edmonton, so I had a fun time talking to her, saying, "What do you see in Edmonton?" Because <laughs> uh, compared to here, I'm yeah, not sure I'm buying it's, it. It's really not. This is a much nicer place. Edmonton for me is just closer. Oh yes, it is for so, sure. Like this, it's unreasonable for me to believe that I can come here as often as I go to Edmonton. I know. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Red Deer is in a happy spot in that it's between yeah, the two cities, right? I, I contemplate moving there. And oh like, yeah. Maybe yeah. I might even have to live there, but okay. I don't know. So, and it's not too small either, right? No, it's got like what sixty thousand. I'm not sure. Decent small size, right? Yeah, like yeah. Not, it's like a moderate size, so not a, but like not it's a big, a, not big by any means. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, I mean, you got accessibility towards both places. That's true. Yeah, awesome. it's very central. Yeah, it's yeah. very central, Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, I I like Red Deer too. Uh, I've been there a few times for work. Well, just because my car had off. Oh, okay. So we would work, go there for some hours. Gotcha. I would spend a staggering amount of time there, but we got a little bit of view. I actually went to visit Mess and Hat this weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, they've got the coolies down there, and those are so nice. What's a cool? 
Absolutely. Uh, it's like these giant hills that form like river valleys. They form like big. Okay. Big hills. Yeah, yeah. Like, really? Okay, I'll yeah. check, check that out. Yeah, I haven't been out that way. Same with Drum Hill, or has the same kind of deal. Like, uh, like that. The big, oh, the big dipping dips, hills. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. I know the ones you're talking about now then. Basically, they're just massive hills. Yeah. They got rivers. Okay. Them. Okay. Yeah, so we went floating. It was awesome. That, was, that is pretty cool. That was when it was warm, right? What? That's when it was warm. Yeah, we like, well, right? it was pretty cool. Like, was it 33 degrees when we were going down? Okay. That's, that's pretty stellar. southern Alberta. We like, were real southern. Like, okay. Fairly, fairly southern. So yeah, yeah. We went down there floating. That was my first time in the Mesa Pad, so it was nice to see it. You were born in Cold Lake, you were saying, right? I was born in Halifax, but Hal raised in Cold Lake. Oh, okay. I'm from okay. Cold Lake, I only spent a short amount of time in my life in Halifax. Halifax, gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. The rest of it's pretty much all the Cold Lake. Okay. Yep. Maritimes are absolutely beautiful. I So I've heard. I haven't been back since I was born there. I was uh, there in Nova Scotia, okay. all over the province, like 12 years ago now. Man, it was, and then I've heard from many Maritimers in my Uber, Uber, Uber travels, yeah. and they're saying, yeah, this beautiful culture of beautiful people. Mm -hmm. um, they're saying, by all means, go visit it, but give a separate visit for Newfoundland because Newfoundland is its own entity, expansive. Right? Yeah, they're saying it's just huge. I said noted. Hell yeah! Well, I mean, I've meant to go there, but I mean, I just don't have any family there, so yeah. Um, how are my family like? 